Hi everyone, I'm back. I haven't made a YouTube video in like over a year. I'm sorry. But I'm gonna come back. I'm gonna try to come back. I'm not gonna say I'm gonna come back. I'm gonna try to come back better than ever, I guess. Um, oh, got black hair now? Yeah, you know. And switching up every now and then. But I'm um, coming back just to announce that I'm coming back really. But I'm back, so it doesn't really matter. And um, to talk about the death of Whitney Houston. It really, like, I was never a, like, oh, diehard Whitney Houston fan. Like, oh, Whitney Houston over everybody. No, that wasn't me. But when I heard about it, I didn't believe it just because of all the... The way that the world is, like, the way, like, Twitter has a fake death every 25 minutes. That's why I didn't believe it. And it just, like, it bothered me. Because I was like, okay, why would they say, like, Winnie Houston's dead? We understand she was doing drugs and stuff like that. So she says she was sober. I heard she was sober the time that she passed. Or not sober. Clean? Clean. I heard she was clean because she never had a drinking problem. She had a drug problem. But anyways, um, she was supposedly clean in those last few years when she wasn't with Bobby Brown. Okay. But I was just like, why would someone make up that? Then I come to realize that it wasn't made up. I Googled it, and the first thing that popped up was CNN. So I was like, damn, it's true. And when I first heard about it, I was like, damn, she's really dead. And I, mm, I don't. It's like... Really, though? When Houston dead? How could that be? I was like, I just saw a picture of her, like, two days before she died at a party with Ray J. So I was like, she's pre-partying for the Grammys. I was like, she can't be dead. And then I saw that scene, and I was like, damn, Whitney. And it didn't hit me until... This is my good side. Sorry. Um... It didn't hit me until I saw so much media on it, and it actually was heartbreaking to me because it was somebody that I grew up listening to that you just always assume will always be there. And now I know that she's never going to be here again. She was known as The Voice, and I don't know. It just seems like... There's not many people that can live up to a standard like that anymore. So for her not to be here, it's just like, where is music going to go from here? I understand we have other legends. We have other greats that are still alive. But when Houston was one of those people that no matter who you were when her song came on, you knew it was her and you knew the words. It was just like, I don't know. It was so untimely that... It happened. I don't... Hmm. See, I don't want to get emotional. So, you know, every now and then, like, when I think about it, I'm just like, it can't... It really didn't... It didn't happen. And then I watched her funeral on TV. It literally had me in tears for about three hours. Tears. Like, it was one of my own family members' tears. Not like, oh, you know, a little sad, little corner tear right here. No, it had me bawling tears when Alicia Keys sang. I thought I was at my cousin's funeral or something. I don't know whose funeral. But I thought that I was at somebody I knew's funeral. Like, that's how serious it was for me. Like, I don't understand how. I can take people's emotions very well. So... When I looked at Alicia Keys and I saw that it looked like she never, I never saw her look like that. Even throughout her whole pregnancy, she never looked that drained. Like, you could tell she was crying for at least three or four days straight. Like, that just, like, it made me, I don't know, it just makes me feel like, if you could mean that much to people, like, I know how much, like, my family means to me, so I know if that ever happened, I don't know. It's just so sad, like, I can't, and her daughter, I don't know how she sat through that funeral. If that was me, 
she was on suicide watch and stuff like that. No, I would have killed myself. No if ands or buts about it. Like my mother, that's mm -mm, that's not no, I couldn't. Especially not that young. It's she was too young to have to go through that. She's only eighteen years old. Granted I'll only be twenty one this year. But it's just it was it's too young. And for a mother to have to bury her child, mm, no. I would never be able to do that either. But all in all, I was very pleased with like the way everything was done. It wasn't over the top, over the top. It wasn't a Hollywood performance, most importantly. And it was done with respect. And it was just like all the people that loved her were there. And it was a great thing. And then she was buried the next day. But my thing is, I don't understand how people can write rude comments, first of all. I understand, like, you don't want to be down and stuff like that when you find out, like, someone passed away. But to write rude comments, okay, by all means, I know. I'm mean sometimes. <laughs> the mean girls. <laughs> but to write a rude comment about someone that died... It just kills me. I don't understand how you could do it. I do not understand how you could do it. I would never be able to do that. Like, say, oh, you know, Whitney Houston, yeah, she was a crackhead, so you know she was going to die. That is, like, one of the worst things ever. Like, you cannot say that about dead people. It's just, like, it's an unwritten rule, first of all. You should just, I don't know, maybe my morals and values are different than everyone else, but you should just never be able to do that. I don't know. Get it together, people. Think about it. Do you want someone saying that about you? That's really like I was saying. Sorry for the delays. But I forgot what I was saying. Anyways, um, yeah, I'm back. I'll be doing videos about random stuff. You know how I do. Um, so, you know, comment down below. You can like it, you can dislike it, you can subscribe, you can favorite it, and tell your friends, hey, look at him, he's cute, or hey, look at him, he's ugly. I don't care what you say. But, have a good day, guys. I'm about to go shopping. See you later. Before I go, make sure you follow me at the little at sign, Devante Inc., D E V O N. T E I N C. Okay. Later.